I know when, I mean, I go in and I always do my best, but, uh, you know, sometimes you're just not right for things. People have been captivated by Patricia Heaton for decades, whose name is linked to comedic brilliance and relatable TV parts. Although Heaton is best known for her part as Deborah Barone in Everybody Loves Raymond, she has played many other famous roles throughout her career. But there is an exciting story of personal and professional resolve behind the laughter and success. Keep watching as we reveal the secrets Patricia Heaton kept concealed while filming Everybody Loves Raymond Patricia Heaton's early life and career. Early Life and Upbringing Patricia Heaton was born on March 4, 1958 in Bay Village, Ohio, a suburb of Cleveland. She was the fourth of five children in a devoutly Catholic family. Her father, Chuck Heaton, was a well-known sports writer for the Cleveland Plain Dealer, and her mother, Patricia, was a homemaker who tragically passed away when Heaton was just 12 years old. This loss profoundly impacted young Patricia, instilling a sense of resilience and determination that would later shape her career. Growing up, Heaton attended St. Raphael's Catholic School and Bay High School. She was active in various school activities, including the Drama Club, where she discovered her passion for acting. Her involvement in school plays and community theater sparked a love for the stage, setting her toward a career in the performing arts, journey into acting. After high school, Heaton enrolled at Ohio State University, where she studied drama. She graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in theater in 1980. Determined to pursue her acting dreams, she moved to New York City shortly after graduation. However, the road to success was anything but smooth. Heaton faced the harsh realities of the competitive entertainment industry, struggling to find steady work. In New York, she joined the theater troupe Stage 3, which provided her with valuable experience and exposure. She also took on various odd jobs to make ends meet, including working as a waitress and receptionist. Despite these challenges, Heaton remained committed to her craft, attending countless auditions and honing her skills, early roles, and struggles. In the late 1980s, Heaton's hard work started to pay off when she got small parts in films and TV shows. In her early career, she had guest roles on TV shows like Alien Nation and Matlock. She also had small parts in films like in the comedy Memoirs of an Invisible Man, 1992. Even with these small wins, Heaton still had to deal with problems. The entertainment business was tough, and it was tough to get big parts. But when she moved to Los Angeles in the early 1990s, things really took off for her. Her career took a big turn after she made this choice. Back in 1996, Heaton tried out for the part of Deborah Barone on the brand new CBS series, Everybody Loves Raymond. The show was about the life of sports writer Ray Barone and his family. It was written by Phil Rosenthal and starred stand-up comedian Ray Romano. The show's chemistry depended on Deborah, Ray's wife, having the right amount of humor, strength, and relatability. The directors liked Heaton's audition because they thought she had the right amount of comedic timing and realness. She was well prepared for this chance because she had worked in theater and on TV before. When she was cast as Deborah Barone, it changed the course of her career forever. Challenges and opportunities. When it first aired in September 1996, Everybody Loves Raymond was a big hit right away. Heaton's performance as Deborah Barone struck a chord with viewers, earning her praise from critics and several awards. Thanks to her warm, funny, and realistic performance, Deborah became one of the most loved figures on TV. It was hard to do, though, because of the part. It was hard for her to balance the needs of a popular TV show with her personal life. Heaton, who has four kids, often talked about how hard it was to balance her work and home duties. Despite these problems, she was able to keep up a successful job while raising her children. Heaton was able to do more after Everybody Loves Raymond became a hit. She became well known and was nominated for many awards. She won two primetime Emmys for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. Because the show was so famous, the actors got bigger and better roles in movies and TV shows. Patricia Heaton's early life and job path show how talented, determined, and strong she is. Heaton's story shows how hard work and commitment can pay off in the entertainment business. She went from being poor in Ohio to becoming a famous actress in Hollywood. 
Everybody Loves Raymond, Behind the Scenes, Shows Creation, Cast, and Production. Everybody Loves Raymond was the brainchild of creator Phil Rosenthal and comedian Ray Romano. The sitcom, which premiered on CBS in September 1996, was inspired by Romano's stand-up routines and his real-life family dynamics. Rosenthal and Romano sought to create a show that blended humor with relatable, everyday family situations. The cast was meticulously selected to bring the Barone family to life. Ray Romano starred as Ray Barone, a sports writer living in Lynbrook, New York with his wife Deborah, played by Patricia Heaton. Doris Roberts and Peter Boyle portrayed Ray's meddling parents, Marie and Frank Barone, while Brad Garrett played his insecure older brother Robert. The chemistry among the cast was crucial to the show's success, and their interactions provided a genuine and engaging dynamic that resonated with viewers. Heaton's role in on-screen chemistry with Ray Romano. Patricia Heaton's role as Deborah Barone was pivotal to the show. Deborah was portrayed as a loving but often exasperated wife and mother, balancing her responsibilities with Ray's sometimes oblivious behavior and the constant intrusions of her in-laws. Heaton's portrayal of Deborah combined warmth, strength, and sharp wit, making her character relatable and endearing. Heaton's on-screen chemistry with Ray Romano was a cornerstone of the show's appeal. Their interactions, filled with playful banter and genuine affection, mirrored the complexities of real-life marriages. Both audiences and critics praised Heaton and Romano's ability to convey a believable and loving relationship. Their dynamic created many memorable moments on the show, from humorous misunderstandings to heartfelt conversations, filming process and day-to-day -day activities on set. Making Everybody Loves Raymond was like watching a well-oiled machine. Everyone worked together and helped each other. The shows were filmed in front of a live studio crowd, which gave them more energy and made them seem more natural. This format lets the actors get instant feedback from the audience, which helps them time and deliver their jokes better. The first part of a normal day on set was reading the script and practicing. The cast and crew would get together to read the script and make changes to their acts as they went. While they were practicing, the actors tried out different ways to say things, and the writers changed the script based on what worked best. Heaton was known for her hard work and skill. She read every script carefully and often suggested small changes that would make her character's responses more believable. She prepared for her part and was willing to work with her co-stars and the production team which showed how much she cared about it. Anecdotes and experiences shared by cast and crew. The cast and crew of Everybody Loves Raymond got along great which was a big part of the show's success. People really liked Patricia Heaton because she worked hard and brought good vibes to the set. Her co-workers often told stories about her that showed how professional and honest she was. One story that stands out had a particularly difficult scene where Heaton had to give a long, intense speech. She did a great job with the scene in just one take, even though it was hard. Her skill and calmness impressed everyone. This scene showed how well Heaton could mix comedic timing with dramatic depth, which has been a trademark of her work throughout the series. Doris Roberts, who played Marie Barone, talked a lot about how helpful Heaton was. Roberts remembered how Heaton would go out of her way to make sure that everyone on the group felt welcome and important. This feeling of community went beyond the set, as the actors often hung out and helped each other off screen. Brad Garrett, who played Robert Barone, also said nice things about Heaton's work ethic. He talked about how Heaton's hard work and preparation set a high bar for the rest of the cast. Not only did her dedication make her performance better, it also pushed her co-stars to do their best in every scene. Patricia Heaton's part in Everybody Loves Raymond wasn't just a job. It showed how talented, dedicated, and able to connect she was with both the public and her co-stars. The show's long-lasting success was due in large part to her work behind the scenes and her on-screen chemistry with Ray Romano. The cast and crew's stories and experiences show how skilled Heaton was and how much she affected everyone around her for the better. The Concealed Secret 
While they were shooting Everybody Loves Raymond, Patricia Heaton kept a secret from the public, the cast, and the crew. Many people didn't know that Heaton was dealing with a major personal problem, a terrible back injury that was causing her a lot of pain. This injury, which she got early in the show, could have ruined her performance and hurt the show's chances of being a hit. It was not an easy choice for her to hide her pain. Heaton knew that telling people about her situation could have many negative effects. First, she was afraid that the producers would think about replacing her if they didn't think she could handle the physical duties of the part. It was unbearable to think that she might lose the part of Deborah Barone, which had launched her career and kept her family financially stable. Heaton also didn't want her injury to be a distraction on set. She wanted the attention to be on her health problems instead of the production of the show. Heaton was able to hide her injury by being determined, planning ahead and having a lot of grit. She made a plan to deal with her pain that included physical therapy, painkillers and stretches that were meant to relieve pressure on her back. When the pain got too much, Heaton would go to her dressing room to rest and heal, making sure she didn't show any signs of pain when she came back to set. Her clothes were also very important in keeping the secret. Heaton worked closely with the costume department to choose supportive clothes that let people wear medical aids like back braces without drawing attention to themselves. She also moved more subtly on screen, avoiding rapid or hard movements that could hurt her more or make her condition more obvious. Even though the cast and crew didn't know how bad Heaton's injury was, they did notice when she was in pain. But Heaton's professionalism and unwavering commitment to her job kept everyone from realizing how bad her condition really was. She kept giving great performances, which made sure that Deborah Barone stayed a figure that people loved. Keeping this a secret wasn't easy and caused a lot of stress. The physical pain was a constant fight, but the mental and emotional toll was just as hard. Heaton often felt alone because she couldn't talk about her problems with the people around her. She felt a lot of pressure to perform even though she was hurt, which made her question herself and get angry. She really cared about the show and wanted to keep her job and family safe, so she kept going. It was hard for Heaton to keep the secret, and it hurt his personal life as well. While she was at home, she had to take care of her pain and her duties as a mother and wife. She was determined not to let her family worry about her health, which would have added more stress to an already tough situation. Keeping up with her parts on and off screen took a lot of strength and toughness. Even with all of these problems, Heaton found comfort in her religion and her strong will. Her upbringing in a strict Catholic home gave her a strong will to keep going even when things got hard. During her hardest times, she turned to her faith for support and strength. When looking back, Heaton's choice to hide her injury showed how dedicated and skilled she was. She handled the complicated aspects of her illness well and continued to give award-winning performances. One amazing thing about her memory is that she was able to hide her injury and stay calm in those tough situations. Lessons learned and moving forward. Trying to hide her back injury while filming Everybody Loves Raymond taught Patricia Heaton a lot of important lessons that affected her future job choices and personal choices. One of the most important things she learned was how to take care of herself and put her health first. It was clear to Heaton that ignoring her pain and pushing through without getting the help she needed had a big effect on her health. After she realized this, she made sure she never again put her health at risk for work responsibilities and had a more balanced job and personal life. Heaton also learned how important it is to be honest and open. By hiding her pain, she cut herself off from people who could have helped and understood. When she finally told her story, she learned the power of being open about her problems. After learning this lesson, she became more honest with her friends, family, and co-workers which led to stronger and more genuine relationships. This time in Heaton's life had a big impact on the careers she chose later on. She became more picky about the job she took, giving more weight to projects that would support her and understand her health needs. Heaton looked for work that would let her keep a balance between her work and home life so she wouldn't have to deal with the intense stress that made her condition worse in the past. 
This change not only made her feel better, but it also helped her work better and more focused. Heaton's experience has bigger implications for artists and public figures who are going through personal problems. People in the public eye are under a lot of pressure, and her story shows that. It shows how important it is to talk about health problems freely and get the help you need instead of suffering in silence. Heaton's story shows that being open and vulnerable are not flaws but strengths, and that putting your health first is important for long-term happiness and success. Heaton has helped other people and brought attention to similar problems in a number of ways. She is now an advocate for health knowledge, especially when it comes to chronic pain and how important it is to see a doctor. Heaton tells her story in interviews, public speaking events, and on social media to encourage and teach people who are going through similar problems. By being honest about her problems, she inspires others to get help and support, which makes the community more caring and understanding. Heaton has not only raised awareness, but also actively backed health and wellness-related groups and projects. She has worked with several charities and advocacy groups to promote pain management research and resources. By giving her voice and platform to these causes, Heaton has helped raise the conversation about health problems and lower the stigma that surrounds them. Because of what she went through, Heaton is now a mentor and supporter in the entertainment business. She gives advice and help to other artists, especially those who are having health problems. As a guide, she stresses how important it is to take care of yourself, be honest, and ask for help when you need it. Through her work as an advocate, Heaton has helped make Hollywood a more accepting and helpful place, inspiring others to put their health first. Professional growth and later roles, Heaton's career trajectory post, Everybody Loves Raymond. Following the end of Everybody Loves Raymond, Patricia Heaton continued to have a great career in TV. Her performance as Deborah Barone proved that she was a skilled actress who could give both comedic and dramatic acts. Because of her reputation, she was able to easily move into new parts, showing how versatile and skilled she is as an actress. Key roles and projects she undertook afterward, an important part for Heaton after Everybody Loves Raymond, was as Frankie Heck in the TV show The Middle. For nine years, the show showed how a middle-class family in Indiana lived their daily lives. Heaton's performance as the matriarch won her praise from critics and made her an even more popular TV star in the United States. She found the right mix between funny and sad moments to make the character likable and believable. Besides the middle, Heaton was also the lead in the CBS sitcom Carol's Second Act, where she played a former teacher who was starting a new job as a doctor. People liked Heaton's act, even though the show was only on for a short time. She also tried her hand at creating, which increased her status in the business. How the experience of keeping a secret influenced her approach to these roles. The experience of keeping a big secret and then letting it slip changed Heaton's approach to her job in many ways. First, it helped her better understand and empathize with complicated personalities, making her performances more real. Heaton's willingness to talk about her experiences also gave her work a sense of being real. After having a child, she was more honest in her parts, drawing from her own life to improve them. People who saw her acting could tell she was acting from the heart because she was so real. Also, her own story showed how important it is to be vulnerable when sharing a story. Heaton became more open to roles that required her to deal with tough emotions and complicated stories. She was ready to be vulnerable, which improved her performance and helped her connect more deeply with her audience. Patricia Heaton's work after Everybody Loves Raymond shows how she has grown and changed as a worker. Her following parts and projects showed how talented and rigid she was, and her personal experiences gave her performances more depth and realism. Heaton's story shows how important it is to be vulnerable in life and art, and how powerful it is to keep going even when things get complicated. If you found Patricia Heaton's journey compelling, share this video and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insightful content.